Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another Lego Star Wars Summer 2023 review, and this one's on uh, the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. So on the front of the box here, we have the Lego Star Wars logo, and that, uh, neat, also that border that we've been seeing since last year, and the three main things included, and picture of everything going on on Mandalore, and... Uh, recommended ages is six and up. Set number seven five three five nine has a hundred eight pieces. Then on to the back of which have it in kind of another in different positions. Also on Mandalore, how to shoot the torrent and logos again and there. And now onto the instruction manual, which. Still the nice small uh, size, of which, like we saw with Dual on Mandalore, and also the uh, fi other Five First Legion battle pack from earlier this year. Uh, good to see that there. But the cover of which, kind of odd rendering, like we've seen for the since last year, of course. And here you have the transition to paper bags and add for the builder app. Then on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. Then add for some of the Mandalorian Book of Boba Fett sets that there are. Add for the three mechs. And then add for uh, the three Clone War sets that so far this year and the last building steps. So first off, for the mini things. First up, we would have a Clone Captain Vaughn, which first appearance we've ever had of him. And of course, the only thing that, or a couple of differences he has to the other troopers is the little badge on one side of his chest, of course. And I think that might be it. And yeah, but although, and whereas, and whereas with all the troopers in this set, which all of which do have the helmet holes that everyone kind of likes, hates, I don't care much. But although this kind of gives you, get put a little accessories on here. But whereas for Captain Vaughn here, like without it, just another three thirty second trooper, of course. But however, all the rest of which. Kind of the same as from the AAT set uh, back in 2020. For that. But although for uh, Captain Vaughn's visor here, although I think the accessory pack that came, that came with this, I think could have been better in like dark red, because in the show kind of looks more dark red. But we have whatever. But, and of course, all of which are holding the same uh, blaster, but one of which has a kind of longer one, of course. Then to the back sides of which, as you see, Cat Vaughn's of which a little different than the other ones, but of course, two of which have the blue jetpacks, of which kind of like in the 501st, two 501st battle packs that there were. And whereas for the face printing, all of which are the same, same exact newer style clone face, of course. And that's about it. With all the mini figs here. Also, do you get a small and simple turret, which is comprised of mostly just a, a newer style blaster, which I think could have worked out better held by the mini figs, like previous battle packs did with the old style stud launch, stud shooters, of course. But however, as, as, as you can see, it's on one of those uh, newer tile kind of pieces. Or, yeah, brown plate with the bars sticking up for it, as it stands for it. And of course, like all of these doer blasters, can tap on and let it shoot like so. And that is about it for that. And now on to the new uh, uh, swamp speeder type build, which from first glance kind of feels like the one that came in the 2014 
uh, Kashyyyk Troopers battle pack set, but of course modded slightly to and being as this one. So like from the front part of which, which has one of those newer style cor curved or newer style quarter plates for that, and also a, one of those newer hinge parts put to some good use there, and of course couple stud launchers on both sides so you can, so you can like shoot out others like so and whereas for this upper part of which and also you got some of those newer style uh, corner slopes or corner slope pieces and you can like move them up a bit but although one thing that I don't get is why not include an inverted tile with a print on it to be a control panel? Maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah. And a couple of seats where you can sit your troopers into and fold it on them like so. As, although, if that tile piece was included in here, it probably just restrict it from going further upwards, but yeah. And as for these back part of which has one of those corner uh, smooth tiles so on the sides of which of course and for this back side of which which has for the turbine engine which has mostly this uh, newer uh, rounded uh, kind of brick piece is with a technic dish in it so of course this piece like we saw on the 2021 X-Wing kind of set and you can see you have three clips uh, sticking outwards, but two of which are mostly for holding blasters onto, which the box cover also shows, but yeah. But also, to, oddly enough, is that, that right there is a bracket with a clear stud on it. Not sure what for, maybe to represent like holograms that get projected through there or whatever. Or maybe as a light or just whatever. And then backside of which has a couple dish pieces and that's about it. And now a kind of couple of flaws that I have with it is this back part doesn't turn like the other two, like the previous swap speeders. And also bottom part doesn't have any like uh, inver or reverse uh, plates to make it go more smoothly, also like previous ones, but whatever. Although I think, although you could kind of add some of that on if you wanted, but yeah. So now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a pretty quite good set for how it is. Like finally get another Legion of Clone Troopers all together in a battle pack. But also it's kind of a shame why we got uh, Captain Vaughn in this set when although that could have appeared in the, in a larger set. So I think instead of him, and just have another have either a Super Battle Droid or maybe even Commando Droid or whatever. Or just an, or at least just another three thirty second back clone trooper, or even regular phase two clone trooper. Oh well. And as for the price for Pizza Witch, that if that if you like see this anywhere for twenty seven dollars a witch, that means it's kind of quite high for that. But however, I think it should stay at twenty because this much for twenty dollars is quite better than that and also quite good for typical bout pack there so not sure if like if anyone at lego sees this video but if you do please keep it at these battle packs at twenty dollars it'll be just a lot better done that way and still quite fair for you but anyways but as it but it's still at 20 this is which quite good really good for how it is but yeah 
And also, kind of odd how there's still the helmet holes in this set. Not sure if that would still stick around for long, but maybe they'll be gone again in the future, but whatever. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your clone trooper army, definitely get it. And if you're looking to continue army building your clone troopers and all, then definitely get as many of these as you can. But yeah. And that's, and I guess that's about it with this set to which, and, or that's it with this review. And that's which my thoughts, and tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And please like, comment, again, and share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.